Hello everyone, we are Skeesh, and today we are talking about tattoos. Today we are going to be answering some questions about our tattoos and our experiences with tattoos in general. So let's hop right into the first question. When did you get your first tattoo? I got my first tattoo when I turned 18. It was on my 18th birthday. That was the birthday present that I got. My mom actually paid for it. It was kind of cool because she was okay with it. A lot of people aren't, but I got mine at 18 on my left arm. I also got my first tattoo at 18 on my birthday. Since we are twins, we tend to do everything the same. And I got mine on my back shoulder. I originally had an idea for something that I wanted to do first at around 17. And my mom was like, no, you're going to wait a little bit. I said, okay, damn it. I changed my mind in that year span and I went with something completely different. So it is good to wait and really think about what you want but 18 years old is when we got our first ones. How many tattoos do you have? So if we're counting sleeves as one big piece, I have, let me count real quick. I have three. If we're counting sleeves as a whole thing and then individual pieces, I have three tattoos. Three, three. Where's the last one? Uh, my last tattoo is on my chest. It's a little baby. I have a few more. I have my one sleeve, which is done up all here. My wrist, my back shoulder, the back of my right calf on my tummy hip area. What was your most painful tattoo? My most painful tattoo had to be this one here. Stude screwed and tattooed Sailor Jerry design on the back of my left forearm. That one for some particular reason was excruciating. I don't quite know why. The healing process was miserable for it. I remember the first night I was washing it, I was I was like gritting my teeth and taking deep breaths because it hurt so bad. For some reason, it just stung unbearably bad. That one I remember just, I hated the process of it. I didn't like getting it. I didn't like healing it. I'm so happy it's all done now and I don't have to deal with the pain anymore. My most painful was 100% the hip piece. The whole process was about three hours. It felt like every bit of three hours. I wanted to be done about an hour and a half in. The shading sucked. And then during the healing process for work, I was doing a lot of bending over. So after I got the tattoo done, I had to go to work and bend over a lot. And that just stung every single day. That was a very painful tattoo. Anything, the ribs, the hip, um, there's a lot of places on the arm that are very painful as well. That hurt very bad. The pain tolerance for people with tattoos is actually really interesting. My girlfriend is, getting her right arm done kind of in like a sleeve style she does not complain about the pain she says it feels fine it feels normal she never complains like i do so i don't know if it's like a her thing or if i'm just extremely sensitive to tattoos in general because i'm very ticklish so it could be a skin sensitivity thing but pain differs from person to person so don't go in thinking it's going to be the most excruciating pain you've ever been in but go in knowing that it more than likely is gonna hurt at least a little bit. Biggest spots you wanna look out for are the ribs. The ditch of the arm is typically one that a lot of people complain about. Up into the armpit area, on the tricep, elbow. Elbow is very painful too. Are there stories behind any of your tattoos? I wouldn't say there's a story, but on my right arm sleeve, I chose a Japanese traditional piece. It's kind of a motif to a couple years of my life that I kind of went through stuff. It's a reminder about all that stuff. You know, you have the koi swimming up the river, becoming the dragon, kind of overcoming the obstacles that I was facing at the time. That's kind of what the meaning behind it is. I don't particularly care if any of my tattoos have any meaning. I'm more a fan of the art as opposed to the meaning behind them. But with this particular piece, while it does have lots of meaning to me, I chose them more so because they were cool and fascinating. Mine's even less interesting than that. I just chose these because I thought they would look cool. The only one with any sort of relevance, hardly even a backstory, is this heartgram here. It's just the logo for a band I like. And that's, that's it. I don't have a big story. There's nothing crazy about them or why I got them. <clears throat> I'm in the boat of, I just like the artwork and I think that's a perfect reason to get a tattoo. If you have a story behind it, great. If not, great. 
A lot of people with tattoos will probably get asked the question, what does your tattoo mean? It does not matter. Your tattoo doesn't have to mean anything. I was actually just having a conversation with my artist about this tonight. We kind of have the same feelings on the topic. It really doesn't matter if your tattoo has a big story or not. You can go into a shop, see something on the wall, think it looks cool, and that's enough reason to get the tattoo. You don't need some mystic story behind it. As long as you like the piece, that's enough to put it on your body for us. Will you get more tattoos? 100% yes. I just got one tonight. I'm looking to pretty much do my whole body at this point. I'm kind of full send for that right now. I'm going one limb at a time, but I definitely want to get more tattoos. I'll probably get more. The piece on my leg, it needs a front, so I just have the back done. I would like to get the front done at some point. At this point in time, I don't feel like I really need any more, but I just feel like I have enough and I'm content right now. The bug might bite later on and I'll go, I really want to get another piece done. But for now, I'm, I'm fairly content with what I have. Do you regret any of your tattoos? I regret one tattoo, one singular one. So there was a piece on my forearm, slide that in, that I got. It was like a, uh, it called a chaos cross and I told the artist I wanted that. And I was like, hey, could you throw in a little nautical rope around it, make it look a little cool? And he did that and I was happy with it for like, a couple months and then I just hated it. It was horrible. It was in a horrible spot. It looked weird where it was. It didn't have anything to it. When I was getting this sleeve, I was really concerned about getting it covered up because it was a big black piece and that is the hardest thing to cover up. So I talked to my artist about it. We came up with this plan. We put a dark colored flower over it and it covered it up amazingly well. I can still tell it's there, but some people might not even know it existed. If you don't know what you're looking for, you can't even tell it's there. Exactly. Like I knew what it was. It was like a burden on my body. So it, it's always going to be there. But the fact that I don't see it for the first thing when I look at my arm makes me happy. That is the only tattoo I regret. I wouldn't say I regret the one on my hip. I like the spot a lot and I think it's a really cool, unique spot. I don't know, I feel like at one point I might want to get it covered. And I was thinking of Cherry Blossom going, I don't know. But I wouldn't say I really have any regrets about it. This one, uh, there's a, this little sketchy story behind this one. We'll get into that in a second, but I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't say I have any regrets. I'm pretty content with what I have. So what's the story behind the heartogram? The heartogram is, uh, let this be a lesson. Don't, don't do as I do. I was working in a store called Spencer's Gifts, and one of my coworkers knew a tattoo friend who did tattoos. And he said, hey, my buddy's coming over tonight. Do you want to stop by and get a quick tap? And I'm like, that's really sketchy. Sure, I will. It was 20 bucks, he drew it up real quick, placed it on my arm, and did the tattoo in this guy's living room. Don't do that. But I did see him open the package, so at least the needle was clean. Yeah, don't do that ever. Like ever. That, that's a dumb idea. That's a bad one. Don't do that. Do you have any advice for someone getting their first tattoo? Getting your first tattoo, let's see. You should be excited about it. It's a cool process. You're not hot shit for getting a tattoo. It doesn't make you any cooler. So don't go around town trying to like flex it or anything. Take care of it. Always wash it. Keep it clean. And for the love of God, do not go tanning or go into the sun or anything like that with a fresh tattoo. Take care of it, keep it covered up, keep on the sunscreen, and don't let the sun get to it too much when it's healing because you will regret it for the rest of your goddamn life. The last thing you want is for an expensive piece of artwork on your body to fade very fast or not heal correctly and look weird. So I have a story about this real quick. This also came from my artist we were talking about a couple weeks ago. He had a client come in, he did this brilliant tattoo on this one girl. Amazing work. I saw the picture of the tattoo. It was beautiful right when he did it. Well, this lady decided to go tanning that night. She got the tattoo. And she came in a week later and said, hey, my tattoo's healing kind of funny. Can you go over it or see what's wrong? He's like, sure, let me see what's going on. And he's like, what are all these bubbles? And she's like, well, after I got the tattoo, I went to a tanning bed and then I went and washed it like normal. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You went tanning with a new tattoo? And she's like, yeah. He's like, well, that's your problem. You, you like ruined the tattoo because you went tanning. But don't do that. Take care of your tattoo. You paid a lot of money for it. The artist worked hard for it, so take care of it. It's on your body for the rest of your life if you don't want to ruin it because you want to get a quick tan. 
You sounded just like Rich Piano when you said that. I know, I kind of like kind of so I kind of emphasize Rich Piano. My piece of advice would be to really think about what you want to get. As he said, this is on you forever. Um, my shoulder piece, I wanted to get something completely different. And the process of me waiting and going to get the tattoo, I changed my mind completely of what I wanted. So really think hard about what you want. Don't let other people try and persuade you. While perspective can be really good, and if it's from a trusted person, they say, hey, I don't think that's a very good idea. Maybe you should listen to them if they're a very trusted person. But a lot of the times, you have your own image of what you want. It's going on your body, you're paying for it, and it's your decision at the end of the day about what you want. Before you do get your tattoo, do your research on the artist. Find a good artist, a reputable artist. Don't be concerned about price. Just make sure the guy or girl does good work. That's, that's all you should be concerned about. Thank you guys for watching today. We hope you could learn something from this. And if you do have any questions about tattoos, feel free to comment down below. We are more than happy to answer. If you guys do get any new tattoos, feel free to shoot us a DM on Instagram or Twitter or anything. We'd love to see the work that you got done. So without further ado, that's the end of the video. Thanks guys for watching Skeesh. And before you go, make sure to check out Mekon Clothing Co where we have new stuff coming all the time, a new drop coming very soon. If you use the code FIRST10 at checkout, you receive 10% off your entire order at MeconClothing.com. Follow us on Instagram at MeconClothing.co for updates, pictures, and everything Mecon. And if you're in the Virginia area, August 13th through the 14th, will be a superstar anime vending there. And the Comic-Con Erie, that is September something. Well, we'll, we'll put the date. But we will be September. bending there with Mekon. If you want to stop by, say, hey, what's up? Show off the tattoos you might get between that time. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.